Quicksilver's Pentagon kitchen sequence. As with many of our big action sequences, we pre-visualized everything to a very high level so we could figure out exactly how we needed to tackle each shot individually. It's a frozen time sequence, but he doesn't freeze time. He's actually just going incredibly fast. So we have freezing time and lots of elements. Utensils move, bits fly up. What, Magneto's all thrown into the air? There are these huge lights. I think they take 40,000 watts each. The set was so bright, you'd have to wear sunglasses just to be on the set. And they take pretty much the whole ceiling. So we gotta just figure out how to route wires through all this stuff so we can motivate all these different stunts. It's a visual feast in each of these shots. There's a million things we've added. All the rain has been put in, all the drops, muzzle flashes, all been either elements that have been put in there or full CG. We had Quicksilver on another stage at one point, doing all the high-speed stuff on his face and in his hair. We have Evan, the actor, on a treadmill. Do some of that close-up stuff there. Got the slate, Brian. Okay, start the wind. Here we go. They were blowing massive amounts of air at my face to get it that rippled look. A lot of air. It's like skydiving, you know? It's like you get that. It was fun. Whoa, that was a good one. Yeah. My skin. How much take have we got left? They're messing with. Quicksilver leaving a wake. As he ran around, he leaves a sort of a rain tunnel behind him, which was kind of cool as well. Here's a sort of sphere of influence as he's moving through things. It was a challenge massaging that around our live action plate so it all integrates perfectly. It's a short sequence, but a lot of really detailed work went into that to get that to look right. The biggest challenge is to figure out where all these guys would have landed, where all the plates and accessories would have gotten scattered to, what's broken, what's not. It's a lot of thinking ahead. 